Siri with RMX Studios and today we are going to start a brand new series on game development so this game Kimaki we did this game back in 2015 and today we are going to start developing this game again but the difference is that this time we are going to develop this game with you that means we are going to show each and every step of the development of this game to you guys so you can check out this video tutorials and you can create a game that looks as exactly as this so not just that by using the, uh, the things that you learn here you can apply those knowledge that you acquire to make your own games and I'll post all the assets that you require to develop this game in the description links would be in the description below to download those assets okay let's get started right so yeah we are going to start from scratch so let's create a new project open your unity editor like this and press new and I'll call this one key my key and okay template 3d all right and I don't need any of the asset packages so let's just go ahead and create the project all right so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, creating those pillars that you can see in the game so for that first I'll create a new folder called textures I don't go inside that and then so these are the my textures so here I got this pillar and pillar top green and pillar one I'll import those three okay and so these are the textures I imported this is pillar one and this is pillar so this is the top of the pillar okay so now I'll create a new empty object and I'll name it pillar like this okay and then I'll add another 3d object a quad like this I'll go to the scene view and can I drag and drop this no I can't okay I can so alright so when I drag and drop it it automatically created a text material but I'll do it from scratch so it's easier for you guys to understand okay let me delete the material folder first right and I'll create it again materials and then create a new material like this I'll call it M pillar one and for this one I'll select um, for now we'll go with now let's use this unlit texture and select this okay and let's select this quad and now I'm going to use this material I just created on this quad like this okay so then I'll set the scale of this pillar 
to NY direction 10 so it looks like this so this is our game view at the moment and this is the scene view okay now I'll name this one right because uh, this is going to be the right side now this is going to be the left side left of the pillar and I'll duplicate this material by pressing ctrl D and pillar 2 and for that one I'm going to use pillar 1 texture like this and then I'm going to duplicate this left quad with ctrl D and I'm gonna call it right and I'm gonna rotate it around Y axis 90 degrees actually minus 90 degrees and move it like this it should be 0.5 and 0.5 in X and Z axis okay now for the top I'll add another quad like this and for this one I'll create another material just duplicate this one ctrl D and I'll name it M pillar top and I'm going to use this pillar top green texture on that I'll name this one top and I'm gonna need to I need to keep this top at the 0 0 0 position so this should be 90 0 and 0 and yeah so I need to keep this one at the 0 0 0 position so therefore I'll move this I'll select this left and right and move them down like this okay now select each of them yeah minus 5 okay now select the top and go to materials and apply this M pillar top material like this and move it to the correct position this must be 0 and this must be 0.5 so now we have the pillar like this one pillar like this okay and let's go to the game view and I'm going to adjust my camera to match with the view that I had in my game so kind of like uh, isometric view so let's select our camera and try rotating around X axis maybe like 30 degrees and around Y axis yeah, before that I need to enable the projection mode of this camera to orthographic projection so that means like this so basically the difference between orthographic and uh, perspective projection is in the perspective projection as the object moves further from the camera it will be closer and closer for example let me show you let me demonstrate that so this is the camera here and this is the object so if I move it further you can see the size of the object is reduced like that so if I change this back to orthographic camera mode so even if I move it you can see the size stays the same so yeah if you need to understand more about this 
maybe I'll put a link in the description below okay for now I'm gonna enable orthographic projection like this and I'm going to move camera like this also I think I should rotate the camera to an angle 45 okay let's move it like this right but as you can see now I think I have made a little mistake so I can't see the right panel of the pillar so I'll fix it quickly so this is the camera I'll move my right panel like this minus 0.5 and you can't see that panel from this side because it is it can be seen only from this side we haven't enabled two-sided rendering yes so I'll rotate this one like this plus 90 now I can see that like this but I have a little problem I think both sides looks the same maybe I have used the same material let me check so now oh wait this one must be right okay and the other one is left I'll call it just R L and the material yeah this must be pillar 2 All right, this looks correct. Mm, I'll make this display look like a mobile device. So let's try something like this. 9 to 60, is that okay? It seems too much. Okay, this looks better. Right, now I need uh, four of pillars like this. So I can just press Ctrl D and duplicate it like this easily, but that's not the proper way to do it because let's say if I have to change some maybe scale or any other property of this one of these pillars then I need to do the same for all other pillars so that's not productive so the proper way to do is creating this I'll create a folder called prefabs so these prefabs are like uh, something like a reusable component drag and drop this pillar to the prefabs folder and now you this pillar has become blue so that means it has become a prefab okay now now I'll duplicate this and move one like this and again duplicate it with the uh, control D so here now I can easily make changes to these objects this uh, pillar prefab like do change to one object and apply them so the change will be applied to all other prefab instances so that's why I did it you will understand it in future as we progress with the development okay and I'm gonna add another pillar like this right now what mm, yeah I think this object looks a little bigger so maybe I should increase the size of the projection and let's move camera a little bit to the 
left so we can center these pillars on the screen right now now I need the water surface so for that okay so for the C maybe I'll add another quad should be rotated like this 90 degrees and it should be in the 0 0 0 position first let's increase its size to like let's go to the game view so we can easily see that 10 by 10 by 10 well that's not enough let's go for 50 50 is it doesn't matter okay now you can see only the top of the pillars so I'll move it down maybe 10 now that seems too much maybe 5 B2 point 5 okay that looks better right now i'm going to use another material for this because i need to be a little transparent let's create a new material mc and um let's try another shade what about this one Let's apply this first and change the color. Something like yeah, maybe color like this. And yeah, I need to decrease the transparency. I need to make it transparent. Let's try a color like this. but still in the background I can see this let me disable this this uh, skybox so I'll go to camera and in this clear effects I'll use slow solid color and let's change color to white like this okay now you can see this nice gradient and it vanish in the bottom what else is busy maybe we can we should modify the color a little bit is this good enough Okay, now this looks like uh, more like a water surface, but still, uh, we need to. Yeah, what if we change to blue? Okay, you can select any color you need. I'm not really good with colors because usually, someone with a better eye in the studio assist me with this colors and at the moment I don't have anyone at my desk so I just leave it like this maybe we will change it later okay so yeah this looks somewhat like a water surface for now but uh, it's not final yet and in the next episode I'll show you how to add ripples and other some of other effects and then after that add the character and moving around and everything and i'll stop this episode for now today and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye